Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Oh, manuscript. Uh, I still don't know who Mott is. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Okay, so I was right. Mott was the kidnapper. Okay. Um, we're back. I, I, I am going there. I might, uh, I might be going to Italy the next weekend. It's literally eight euros a trip. I'm not making this shit up. Eight euros a trip. What is going on? How could he not say yes to that? Like, holy shit. Eight euros a trip to Italy. I'll be there like just for two days, but still, like, holy shit. That's a lot. Mellow. That's a lot of monsters here. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I guess that was kind of the point. There we go. We good? Where, are, where am I? This looks like a huge area. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a fight here. Like, this is gonna be locked and... Never mind. I remember something wrong. Or maybe it was something in the other place, because I remember there being like a bigger fight. Or Barry was like, yo, let me open this. Let me open this. For some reason he couldn't open it. I don't know why. So I think so. I think so. Damn people dropping manuscripts like crazy. Just not, not careless, so careless, man. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Damn, Barry. You're strong. Damn. You're like in... Damn. <laughs> Damn, Barry. Back at it again. Emil made Tom do it. What did Tom do? I know Emil is Hartman now. That I do know. But what did Tom do? Making us all seem crazy. Makes sense, because it's a mental hospital. Was it all like this mental hospital made just for people who are not actually crazy? I don't know. Because they are in t in uh, in this darkness story. Like purposely. They don't know. They know that it's all true. Hold on. That one is messaging me. I'm sorry. Who is it? You might ask. Good question. Let me see. Hold on. Don't shoot me. Don't attack me. It's um, Billy Beans, not my lover. He's just a girl. Claims that I am the one. The kid is not my son. Did it the by lava? He's just a girl. He, she's just a girl. Claims that I am the one. The kid is not my son. I am not the father. Leave me alone. I will not pay sh Jack Squat. Okay. The arrow is pointing me this way already. If I already, but I already was there. 
Okay. I'm good. I already was there. No worries. I'm going up the stairs now. There's gonna be a main boss. I mean, I already did the main boss. So, um... I don't know. It's like a mini boss, I guess. Yeah, because they're giving me so many things here. Yeah, I remember everything correctly. My memory sometimes does work. It's in it. It's insane. It's, it's insane. It's a miracle. There we go. Reading time. Oh, I was I was like harp and seduces wake. I was like, yo, things are getting steamy. Doctor writer kind of romance. Gay romance. Men watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Throbbing? Throbbing. Let me drink. Let me have a drink to that. Here we go. Hey, Barry. Oh yeah, this looks very similar to the place I was. That's why I got confused. Here's, there's gonna be things here when I get there. Yeah. Hey, Barry. I could just climb over this, but... Alan has no upper body strength, only lower body strength. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? No. Maybe. Barry. You gotta do better than maybe. Please, Barry. Alright, here we go. Bring it on. You only have a shovel, I have a gun. Even though you guys have knives as well, it doesn't matter. Bye-bye. Oh, you're alive. Hold on. Oh, so close. One millisecond later and I would have died. I'm good. Hey. There are, there are, there are more important matters to intend to, okay? I might die here. Oh my god. You're a twig. Never mind. You're not a twig at all. Come on. Good boy. Alright, bye bye. I'm out. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Mr. Anderson, welcome back. We missed you. Uh-oh, we're gonna crash. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al! I no, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. 
That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Dude. God damn it, I'll talk to me. I'm alive. Don't worry. Damn it. I lost my gun in the crash. Yeah. Barry was nowhere to be seen. But he was screaming, just scream back. So he's he knows you're fine. Barry! Barry! There you go. Here we are, man. How did you get down there, though? And I was here. Like, if you fell, you would have had, like, serious injuries. How many bullets do you have in that gun? This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Give him some props, dude. You're not the only badass in town, okay? Like, in part one, you didn't even... Hadn't even, like, shot a gun, ever. You know, besides the shooting range. And there's a bug in my room. The same damn bug that was uh, here a few parts ago. I never killed it because I'm not a monster. But I will kill it. Because I'm a monster. Yo, just... Yep, I know. Things are happening. Ow. Dude. How do you have such good... Perception of things? There we go. Hold on. I... I shall go here if that's okay with you. Can I get things from here? Oh my god, oh my god, this must be a very important manuscript. It's tied to a wall with what? I don't know. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Yeah, also this episode is not going to be monetized, there's going to be some songs that um, I could mute, but it takes so much away, like so much, that uh, it doesn't matter, because no one is, coffee thermos, no one's going to really watch this anyway, so who cares, but those who do watch it can appreciate it more. Yo, leave my coffee thermos alone, okay? Hey, this is my coffee thermos. Get your own. Ow. Oh my god. Run. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh my god. Okay. Just follow. Just follow. Damn it, dude. Come on. Jump. Oh my god. This is 
is the hardest part, hardest part of the game. I'm kidding, I don't know which one is, but it feels like it, because I don't, I don't have anything. Oh my god. So annoying. Gates of Hell. Why can't you be Gates of Heaven, huh? What is your deal? What is your deal? Thomas Zane. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Yep. He never should have gotten the badge. Boom. Boom. And boom. There you go. Good job. Is something happening? Oh, I can move that. Okay. I got you. There might be something over here, though. But I was wrong. Very rare case. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like wrong almost all the time. Almost. Like. Uh, yeah, like 70%. That, that's pretty accurate. 70% of the time I'm wrong. How can I move this? Maybe easy. Okay. This was specifically made for this. Hey, yo. Stop swinging. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the oh. enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. What if I just didn't take this? And just went on. Trust no one in the dark. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Your inputs are necessary. Um. Hmm. Ah, this way. This is the way, but I feel a great disturbance. Yep, there we go. The sound kicks in. You guys have no way to fight against me. Right? Damn it, so close. Damn it, so close. So damn close. Okay, I have no time for this, okay? Yeah, you guys suck at throwing things. Oh my god, hello. Oh my god, there's more. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Out of batteries, I've never seen that. Once in my playthrough. Okay, look, I'm getting farther and farther away. I was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry. Caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Yeah, they probably got the same cars that I got. Like, they were just running for some reason. There were no keys. Oh, hello. Yep. I want the big one. Thank you. Oh, coffee thermos. Hello. Nice to see you here. My old pal. My old buddy. It's always nice to see an old buddy. Accidentally. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Why do you think that? You have such... You don't believe in your friend. This is gonna... Yep, I knew it. It just looked like that. I don't even remember it happening, but I just, it just looks like... Yo, this is gonna do something. Uh oh. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. 
I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Doing a terrible job. I had seen like... glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Yeah, but he's placing them at the wrong order, dude. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh man, thanks, 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 thanks. No gun though. That sucks. Bunch of bear traps though. Perfectly set for me. I just saw some over here. How did they disappear? I don't know. I'm not gonna look for coffee thermoses this time. That's okay with you. Oh, this is a nice foggy area. Very foggy, actually. Like, weirdly foggy. Like, look at this. What is this? Nope. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. There we go. There we go. Give me this. Give me. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. At least, right? These guys were so nice. Do not attack me. What is this? Uh, to taken our field with darkness. Okay. Agartha darkness or Harkness. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Yeah, I mean, their names are Thor and Odin. Come on, man. Asgard. Hemorrhoid Prevention Clinic. Oh, yeah. Ah, so close. So close. Never scare me like that again, please. Your fighting chance is not zero anymore. But it's not very high since this is the only weapon you kind of have. Hello. Come closer. Thank you for listening to this radio station. It's weird how I'm following this trail of bear traps. Ow! Yo. Oh, two at the same time. Holy shit, you saw that, right? That was amazing. That was amazing. These are... These are so... Misleading. I think they're like manuscripts. Oh, hello. Didn't see you right there. There we go. I can die sometimes. That works. Hey. Almost there. This is not the one. What? Oh, hello. This is kind of too much for me. Okay. You guys good? Maybe I can just go there. And you'll be, like, be gone. Yep, there we go. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Steal it. Right now. Okay, 
Why do I waste my bullets? I don't know. Alright, Barry, make some noise. It looks very Hello? similar to my Anybody house. I gotta get my coffee thermos first, uh, you know, priorities, and then some ammo, and then you come, okay, no worries. Where's Barry then? Maybe that was Barry actually, with him, and he thought he was Danny, I don't know. Hello? Is this domestic violence? Hello? Damn it. Push? Don't hit it. Okay, that's not pushing. Uh, I know you. You were in jail the Yeah. Other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. Uh, it's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? Hmm. Yeah, does sound not very good. Oh, this open. Ow! I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Okay, so now it makes sense. Now it all makes sense. You wrote yourself into the story. Now it makes sense. Okay. Glad we could clear that up. Damn. This TV is smoking hot. I mean, it makes sense. I was in there. <laughs> For a few seconds or a minute even. Yo. Who's fucking up my house? This is my house now. Here we go. Let me guess. Danny, huh? Big boy. Oh my the god. Door was locked. There's a manuscript over there. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Sure. Oh dear. It's me. It's my cousin. Sorry, man. Look what they did to my poor boy. Do you know deer is a spiritual animal? Freedom? Something like that. <laughs> Freedom and like cleansing. Some, uh, I, there was something else I don't re really remember, but along the lines. God damn this bug. Uh, that's why I like deers a lot. Unlocked. 
Unlocked. There was a manuscript there though, so... I will get in the car in a second. Give me this shit. Anything else over here? Oh, nice. I can see that. It's cool. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? Please? Anyone? Is there anything in the bathroom? That would have been cool if instead of a toilet paper there was a coffee thermos. God damn. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Hmm. It's time to hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry ah. was Barry. That is very true. If I didn't crash into this, I wouldn't have seen the coffee thermos. Do not, anyone, do not hit me. Please. Here we go. And don't tell Barry, dude. Barry is a badass. Pretty sure. So, don't doubt your own best friend. I will go there in a second. Should I go in? I'm afraid to go out. Sometimes monsters come when I go out. Yeah, there we go. Yellow arrows. Thank you. Thank you. I'm scared. I'm scared. But I'm fully armed as well. What a good combo. I'm kidding. It's a terrible combo. But it works. For Alan. Um... This car, please. I will not be safe until I'm not in the car. I will check out the lighthouse and I'll hit the farm, okay? Okay, whatever you do. No monsters. Okay? Yo, I, wrote, I, I was riding you before. How'd you get back here? Are you like that one car that speaks and has a mind of his own? Oh, radio. Oh, nice. Um, actually kind of like shotgun more. Uh, do I know? <laughs> it has more ammo, so I, can't, I have to switch. Yeah, there we go. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. I like this man. A lot. I would die for him. Immediately. If I had been given a chance. Although other Alan would not like that, but hey man. Oh you got scared. You got scared, huh? Damn it, go back. I missed. Okay. I will not abandon you. I will take this car. What? No. Okay. 
Okay, I will. I was already uh, almost gonna abandon you, but we're okay. We're okay now. Get on the farm. Can I drift? Hell yeah, man! Look at me drifting. Oh, hello. Can't stop me. I will get to that farm, no matter what it takes. Whatever it takes. As a wise man once said, and I'm stuck. Awesome. Damn it. Damn it. Got stuck, dude. Here we go. Next car, please. Oh, I was supposed to go, go uh, out anyway, so we're good. I like farms. It has a very nice vibe. Like in real life. Like it totally deserted in somewhere else and has this farm smell. Is that good enough? I think so. Guys, please. You know you're no match for me, right? Just leave me alone. Barry. Okay, I, saw, I, th I thought I saw something flickering, but it was just my flashlight, I think. Can I go there? I don't know. Yep, I can. Yep, here we go. Gotta get my things. Hello? Hello? Oh. How oh, lovely. Getting so many things. Love it. It's the best. The best. That depends. Is she hot? Oh my god. Or is she like you? Full of darkness inside and out. If so, you will have no problems with me. Cause I won't be even trying to date her. <sighs> yeah, what is this? Rockets? I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars. But it hadn't really sunk in until I saw this stage. Yeah, that's a coffee thermos. Damn it. Cutscene. Let me get that coffee thermos. Oh, I'll get in there. Bring it on, man. Not all the ammo I need. Nope, that's not gonna happen. This is copyrighted. I already died here. I'm not sure if I let it out or not. So I said it again. Oh, man. These guys have no chance. Uh, oh, hello. Where? What? How? When? Let's do this. Boom. Bye bye. Why do I have this? This gun sucks compared to the other ones. Give me this. Get out of my stage. 
and get out of my farm, which is not even my farm. But it's more my farm than it is yours. Because you're not invited here whatsoever. Wow, Anderson's already invited me there. Easy peasy. going on? Oh, there's more. There we go. Bye-bye. Come on closer. Come on closer. Come closer. Why are you scared, man? Doesn't this place look so inviting? You could just come in here and just put your talents to show. Maybe there's this trying to, you know, Maybe they're just trying to, trying to show the talent, but I'm just shooting at them all the time. Maybe I'm a murderer, but maybe I'm the bad guy. But it is pretty awesome. Give me this. Revolver? No, 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 no. No, 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 I don't need revolvers anymore. Come closer. Boom. One more. Easy, dude. Oh! Give me this. Oh my god. Get out of here, man. I'm in the middle of something here. Nope. Give me give it back. Why did that explode? That's unnecessary. That was awesome. Hell yeah, man. Rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al, this way to the farm. Hold on. I gotta get my ammo. Because the other one is completely done. Nope. Here we go. That was really good. That was pretty cool. Wow, Barry is even more fit than I am. That's embarrassing. I will go there in a second. Damn it. Alright. I'm gonna go first. No no worries. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Hmm. How? Oh. Is there a collectible there? Is that a collectible? Looks like a place there could be a collectible, but I don't see anything. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Serious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. I do. Please. It would be, it would be kind of hilarious with your voice because you never seem to, like, have fun. Kinda like me. Wait, how do I... Oh. I go down. Ow. There's a manuscript page over there. I don't think I'm gonna even say anything bad anymore. I think you have a condition. Like, it's... It's... It's, it's not good. 
Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic, certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Yeah. Barry, sorry for leaving you there. Uh, the monsters could have gone back, uh, come back, because they are unpredictable. They could do whatever. So sorry about that, but I'm here now, and I have the weapons, and this is not gonna fall down to my head, and, and I won't die. Hammer? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, come on, look at your names. Oh, <gasps> nice brings. Interesting concept. Um, but nah, so many plot holes. Or I mean, yeah, so many plot holes. Or at least they could have made it more immersive. In some sense. Damn, I have all the batteries. Damn, ow. Sorry about that, coffee thermos. Looks like I'm still not over coffee thermoses. I have a bigger flashlight than you. <laughs> okay. Let's go up. Buttercup. They shouldn't be in here, right? I think so. Hello? It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Damn. <laughs> the Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Boop. Get out of the way. Here comes 
Johnny. Thanks, man. What is this? Asgard 19... The Old Gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok Tour. Be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury. April 11th, Seattle, Washington, right? April 13, Bakersfield, Canada. April 14, Long Beach, Canada. Uh, April 17, New York City, New York. April 18, Newark, New Jersey. April 22, uh, Detroit, Miami, I think. April 26, Jacksonville, Florida. April 27, Tampa, Florida. April 30, New Orleans, Los Angeles, May 1. May the f first May, May your first, may you be the first one. B Baton, Rogue, Los Angeles. Yes, all of these were correct. And if you don't agree, then you disagree. Makes kind of sense, I think. Okay. Were you expecting a threat? Well, I had plenty of threats over here. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you, buddy. Hello. Get out of the way, man. Dude, I'm just trying to get out of this place, man. What is going on? Oh my god. You guys are so annoying. This one is stronger. He takes them out quicker, the darkness, I mean. So... Yeah. Someone is faster here. Yep, this guy. I don't... Try to understand where you're at. But you're so blurry. away your abilities. Hope you didn't mind. Now he's just a normal dark man. Think so? I wanna get to the uh, barn and then I can pause it, okay? Um, right. Okay. I've seen those so many times everywhere. Need a cool weather. Not very windy though. I mean, it looks windy, but I don't hear wind. Oh my god. Out of ammo. Oh, this one. Sorry. Oh my god. Accurate. more oh shit It's gonna take a while. Ow! Jesus Christ, Alan. Come on, dude. Okay, I see light. And I see Barry. Barry is the light. At the end of the tunnel. For me, at least. For me, at least. Hey, man. Wanna die? Then you came at the wrong right place. <laughs> Here we go. Uh oh. What's going on? Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out here, okay? Take a closer look at this stuff. Hmm. Is this the way? Yeah, Alan, you have lower body strength, but you don't have upper body strength. 
That is very true. Uh, you said be careful, that means there are gonna be monsters here, right? Because you're giving me ammo. But I... Uh, is this just for ammo? Oh, there's more. Yeah, there we go. Look at you being all shiny. I have friends here, coffee thermoses. They keep me safe and sound. Damn, this is a long one. It didn't even look like it was gonna be that tall of a building. Hopefully, there's gonna be a cutscene of me going down. Because I'm not going all the way back. Oh. Hello. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. This guy had a parrot with him. <sighs> okay. This is how it's gonna be. gonna go down and then shit's gonna go down as well alongside with me going down I could see the building Damn. had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field it wasn't far now I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks they had the goods did they why kick it Alan you just want violence Let's be honest now. Okay. You only do this for violence. Purposely wrote this so you would be a badass and do violent things, okay? Let's be honest. Are you even the real Alan Wake? If you... Oh, hello. I can't move. This is not happening. I can't see anything. I've done it myself. There you go. Wait. There could be emergency things over here. There you go. Damn it. Not all that is over here.
this harvester really knows how to drive. Sort of. Valhalla. Here we go. That's the title. People are gonna think, oh my god, is that a squeak? Oh my god. I don't know where it's gonna fit. And then it's like, ooh. Shut down. Like, boom, it's not even. It's a clickbait, but it's not clickbait at the same time. Can this guy, like, die already? There we go. Damn, that's a lot of pigs and cows. Holy shit. Nah, not happening. Okay, what will you hide in there? Show me. Absolutely nothing. Except the ladder. Which had... Uh, things in it, perhaps. Can I jump over this? Wait. Oh yeah, I'm going. Wait. Wait. Oh. Okay. I got. I got. I got confused. I thought Barry was already there for some reason. Okay. I had to find a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Find a key to get Damn it! Like every other game, this works. Okay. Key, key, key. Shut up. Everyone has allergies against dust. Okay. Come on, Al. Open the door already. Seriously, I don't let's go. Like hey, let's go. Let's go, man. man. <laughs> I just said the same thing. Uh. This is not openable. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Ah! Okay, I guess that works. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We don't say that. At home, then. I mean, don't say that we're almost there, because something bad is gonna happen when you say that. No coffee thermoses? On, okay. Uh, I feel like I'm doing the only uh, only one who's doing work here. Like, at least you were, you know, trying that work. That ha that that means a lot. I don't feel like exploring this area. So I'm going I'm going. I see something there. Doesn't matter. Does it matter? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And does it matter? Sounds so similar. Alright, it's time to get drunk. Boom, boom, boom. Made of steel. The power downstairs was out. But I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs was out. But I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. You need power to play that? I don't know. I'm not an expert. Every one of these looks so similar to my house, where I was. Even the Anderson brothers were a huge fan of coffee thermoses. I mean, who isn't in this day and age? In this game? Oh my god, another one. Two at... Oh yeah, brothers. Asgard, in the valley of my shadow. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Hold on. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. 
I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning, the night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Oh yeah, I don't even remember that. So this is gonna be new for me. It's like uh, way back in my memory. I don't remember that for some reason. Come on, Al, let's get the lights on, huh? Yeah. No worries. No worries. I got you, bro. Boom. It's fixed. I'm a miracle worker. Can you hear that, Al? Sick? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Couldn't they just say that? Like, find the Lady of the Light? That's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? What if they come in? Hmm? Then you're shooting drunk? Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. <laughs> Whatever power had brought me back to this night at the lake was also stopping me from leaving. I had no choice but to see it through, to find out what had happened. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice, Alice would have Alice. never turned the lights off. That is very true. I gotta turn on the generator. As you can see, it's not working. Uh, but I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Find out what happened to you. Dude, I ask that question every day. It's not even a question. 
I mean, sort of. There's a question in there. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Bruh. Bruh. The dark Maybe. presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. You should sue her for sexual harassment. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I will hear. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. 
had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Uh, copyrighted music, but I'm not sure if the Anderson thing got copyrighted or not. So I don't know. But I'm gonna mute it just in case, okay? pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. I gotta pause it. Thank you for watching this masterpiece. May I have a great time of life. I don't remember at all what happened, so... It's nice to relive that. <laughs> so, I was kind of the same with Alan there. And, um... Maybe I was also written to forget. Perhaps. I thought for some reason that Alan had like, there were like two Alans. One Alan was in the cabin writing and the other Alan was actively doing stuff. That they were at the same time doing things. Like this Alan was the imaginary Alan that was written and the other one was uh, the writer, the real Alan. But turns out they're the same. So that was kind of interesting. But yeah. Very well.